What's up, y'all? This is the Curious One, and uh, the Rona's got me bored. Not working like a lot of other people. So I kind of got bored, and um, I pulled this one out of my collection. And uh, I do have another video about it. Um, where I actually talk about thinking that it's possibly a knockoff and uh, because it came in a plastic bag from China and uh, it came with no weapons it didn't come with any packaging it was just in a little plastic bag whatnot um, it came in like a charcoal gray uh, plastic with a uh, really bad black wash on it but I got so bored that I actually pulled this out what was it I was doing it on the last DNQ so I guess last Wednesday I painted it silver um, and the silver was coming off on my hand so I I went ahead and uh, hit it with a Rustoleum matte clear, which is not the best for this because you want it to look uh, real shiny, right? And the matte finish isn't going to be real shiny. On top of that, I had to pull it real far back, so it's like kind of big specks of uh, clear coat that hit it. So it's kind of like I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like uh, almost like scales because it's big droplets of uh, matte finish that are landing on it so it doesn't look as good as what it could have if I had everything that I needed in order to do it properly but I was bored and I was just like man I, I need something to do so for some reason I picked Pick this Terminator to do. Um, the weapons are actually from a, <clears throat> actually from like really cheap, like dollar store GI Joe type things that I picked up when I was up north a long time ago. Uh, the one on the left with the grenade launcher looks a lot better than the uh, one on the right. They're not quite to scale with him, I don't think, but for as small as what he is, it's not too bad. Um, he's not quite 1 18th scale, he's a little bit smaller than that, I would say, shit, I don't know, I'm not good at the scale things, um, but I would say he probably stands about shoulder high to and to a uh, actual GI Joe so he's a little bit smaller but the the weapons fit him okay um, I don't have the good paint um, I kind of use like some old like 20 year old paint that was actually dried up I had to put water in it shake it up and uh, in order to make it even usable um, what I tried to do was uh, I tried to white uh, to dry brush dry brush him so that all the um, charcoal color and the and the black wash that was already on there would uh, kind of stay in the grooves but I was drinking so I kind of got a little sloppy and uh, there's some stuff that I need to touch up so that the detail kind of pops a little bit better but I did go in there and um, painted his teeth I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on this um, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as what it does in person 
but even in person it it needs something there's there's some stuff that I still need to do to it I think so I went in and I just pretty much tried to dry brush as much as I could with the silver and then uh, because the paint was kind of coming off on my hands even though it was dry I hit it with that that clear matty um, because it was the only thing I got I didn't have any gloss if I had gloss it probably would have came out a little bit better um, so I used what I had um, I did the weapons a little bit I, I painted the magazines gray to kind of make them look like uh, like the GI magazines excuse me um, to make it look like the GI magazines the aluminum magazines they're kind of like a grayish color they don't they're not black um, so I did that and then I did a little bit of like silver dry brush on the weapons um, well a silver and a gray mixed together to kind of make it look like the black is wearing off in certain places like it's been bumped and torn up a little bit to to take off um, the anodize and and show the uh, aluminum or steel that is underneath it painted the teeth white um, and I also took where is it uh, blood of the gods which is basically like a really dark um, It's a really dark candy apple. So probably what I should have done was painted the eyes silver and then drop this in on top of it. But I didn't do that. I just kind of dropped it in on there. Um, I should have either done that or I should have um, dropped little tiny bits of um, glow in the dark. And then watered down the blood of the gods and then just put the drop on top of it that way that the, the light kind of reflects into the eyes and then comes back out through the red but whatever I did what I did um, so this is what it kind of looks like right now you gotta remember that the lighting isn't I'm not professional and the lighting's not good and it looks better in person than what it does on here for you guys but I also still have some plans that I may do to um, make it look a little bit better not because I care just because I mean it's a endoskeleton so I mean, you got to kind of, I don't know, I, like it's an endoskeleton, dude, like it's got to look cool, even though it's a, not that great of a toy, um, so, with this M4, what I did was I took a glue gun, and I let it heat up, but I didn't let it get extremely hot, and then I just took um, just took the nozzle and I stuck it onto the barrel and I kind of pushed it back and forth a little bit and then I pulled it out and cut it off um, well I let it cool down and then I cut it off it's not the first time that I tried it um, it's actually the third time first time I tried it I did it almost perfect it was almost completely lined up with the barrel everything looked badass and then um, something about it I didn't like so I played with it a little bit and I ended up pulling it off of the barrel it's like ah oh, crap so I did it again it came out looking all right and then I was like hey well why don't I do the grenade launcher and then I'll do smoke out of the barrel so I put the the glue on the on the grenade launcher to make it look like there was a grenade flying out of the out of the launcher, right? 
and it came out pretty good and I was like man that looks good uh, so I just broke the broke the plastic off of or broke the uh, the glue off of the barrel and then I realized in order to launch the grenade launcher his hand needs to be on the magazine in order to fire the grenade launcher he's not gonna do this with like two weapons one in each hand you know what I mean so it's not gonna work so then I did it again and then I did um, like I watered down some yellow and um, to make it transparent because all I had was uh, really old opaque paint so I and it was so dry that I couldn't actually even get a uh, couldn't actually even get a like a little drop out of it so watered it down shook it up uh, put one drop put three drops of this uh, gloss varnish to harden it up and also to hopefully make it transparent and then I put like 10 drops of water in there mixed it up painted it on there um, went back in put like a little bit of this a little bit of this um, threw some water in it no actually I didn't throw any water in that I threw a little bit of that varnish in there um, made the colors look a little bit different um, or like to, to thin it out even even more uh, and then I did some black and some gray and blah 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 but on the scale it doesn't really even matter you couldn't even tell the difference especially like on camera you can't see the difference um, so then I went back in and I did a little bit more yellow and then I went in and I did a little bit more red and um, on the M16 here what I did was I took a, a scrap piece of paper and I put a drop of um, super glue put a drop of super glue on there and then I took the uh, M16 and I dipped the barrel in the in the super glue and I had already had a a piece of uh, cotton q-tip that I had broken up and like cut down and like pulled apart and cut down again and tried to get it look to be as small as possible you know what I mean and glued it to the barrel and then I put some um, some black and I mixed it with a little bit of silver and a little bit of gray and I kind of uh, brushed it to to hopefully make it look like smoke but yeah there's a few more things that I need to get in there and do but it's not too bad I don't think I mean, especially for the scale of what it is. Nah, it's not going to focus on there. I don't think there's enough light for you to be able to see the face that good. But we'll try it. Can we do it? Uh, not too good. But trust me when I say that the uh, the muzzle blast even though it doesn't look perfect if I put light on the opposite side it is transparent so it does look like actual muzzle flash now I don't know how much work I actually want to put into this but 
like I said, I think it's a, I think it's actually a knockoff toy. I don't think it's actually even a real toy because of how, like, Wonga the legs are. They're, like, real squishy. But... It's not like I'm doing anything else, you know what I mean? It's not like I got a whole lot to do right now, so. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. Um, Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I do have another video. Um, I have finally figured out how to, to link other videos. So if I remember, I'll try to put a link to that video, even though, I don't know, I mean, whatever. Y'all have a good night. Take it easy. Try to stay out of trouble. And, uh, yeah, try to stay out of trouble, yeah. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. I got too much time on my hands.